Putter and Cooter is a children's play written by Bruce Pascoe and set here at the Hyde Park Barracks. It has been co-produced with Mugland Performing Arts and has highlighted First Nations perspectives, truth-telling and the reclaiming of this space. The, the play is talking about uh, colonialism. So you've got a, an Aboriginal character and a non-Aboriginal character um, and the rat is the British and the bandicoot is the Australian character and it's about that interaction and the contrast, the contrast in world view. So you have Cutter, the English rat, the noble English rat, who comes on the first fleet to Australia and so this is all incredibly new and exciting to her. In a lot of ways I think she's also like the convicts that came, wanting a better life for herself and to sort of climb the social ladder and make something of herself here. Cooter is the indigenous bandicoot who is native to Australia and will do anything to protect his home. And they sort of have to suss each other out in the beginning and learn like what Cutter's all about and Cutter learns about what Cooter's all about and they can sort of share ideas and they go on this journey to, you know, save Cutter in a way and chase down this ring and uh, kind of learn from each other and shape both their perspectives and sort of grow and, and start to live a better life because of each other, so yeah. So, uh, you know, this is the, the barracks and um, I wanted to respect the fact that the barracks, uh, you know, is a place of British power, but I didn't want it to all, all to be about convicts and soldiers. I wanted it to be about our people. You know, that, that, that's what Australia has to do. It has to really look at these institutions, what they were for, and not celebrate them as a, um, you know, and just another castle of the Queen, but what they did to our people. So coming to do the site-specific work at Hyde Park Barracks has been a little bit challenging. Obviously the work is set here and the history that this place holds. So for instance, when the characters go, oh yes, the slaves, the convicts, up there, um, you know, and they point up into the barracks, which is where the convicts, all those years ago, it's, it's where they were. And so, you know, on a stage it's great because it's somewhat make-believe, but it's like, this is actually where it happened. So it's been very daunting, challenging. It's been hard emotionally, thinking of everything that it represents. But at the same time, it's been really, really rewarding. Yeah, the challenges I say was like coming to terms with what this site's about. Like lucky enough, as a kid, I've come here before on like school excursion and stuff. So like you sort of already know what to expect coming in. Um, but then you sort of have to come to terms with what happened here, the people that have you know lived here, all the different stuff and whether or not you feel like the spirits and stuff that are here and whatever. So that's sort of been the challenge and coming to terms with that. But then the positive is sort of in a way reclaiming the space and sort of sharing the space as it's a play not just about an indigenous perspective or just a colonial uh, perspective but both perspectives and it kind of turns the space into a nice hub of like you know cultural sharing and that's been a real positive for me working here. Mulan Performing Arts working with these guys has been a really rewarding experience for myself to be in a room that's solely First Nations solely mob has been an absolute dream and it's just been an enjoyable and a really safe environment to play, especially when you deal with First Nations plays. For the first time working with Indigenous people doing like a theatre production, it's been super fun just like the connection you can have with you know your people is, is definitely just so much stronger. As an organisation, we are committed to shifting perspectives, truth-telling and delivering honest reflections of history. We aim to inspire a deeper understanding of the First Nations experiences on these sites. I'd like the audience to think about the, um, how the two systems operate. One that is all about taking and uh, uh, the other which is about caring and uh, you know, I think how Aboriginal culture worked, not just, you know, not just the, the surface stuff, but how it, it really worked on behalf of Mother Earth.
I think this play is really important. I know as a kid, I would have loved to have seen something like this when I was eight, nine, 10 years old. Um, and so getting a play like this where it's two people coming from complete different backgrounds, completely different ideas, sharing it, growing and learning together. It's just a really good message for, for kids to hear at that age because I think we're at a time now where we're sort of putting a lot more effort into teaching children that type of stuff so the future generation going forward is going to be a lot more open to sharing culture and they're not going to shy away or be scared because someone else is different or has a different idea and they're sort of going to be yeah more just understanding of each other and have more empathy and so that's what I think is super important about this play is allowing kids to to see that you can share ideas and sort of still be friends and grow together.